Hey, Fabian here. Bash is the default shell for most of the Linux distribution. One example is the popular operating system Ubuntu. macOS used the Bash as well, but switched with the Catalina version to Z shell as default. In general, the Z shell got more popular in the more recent years. I personally also now using it for several years under Arch Linux and Ubuntu. So let's take a look at the benefits of the Z shell and how you can switch from Bash to Z shell. Bash and Z shell are both pretty old. Bash was released in 1989 and the Z shell just in the year afterwards. Of course, there are also several other shells, for example, the Fish shell. And my point here is not to say that the Z shell is the best shell of all of them and the only one you should use. Totally not. You might want to do your own research and check what fits best to you. My point here is to say you should really think about what shell to use. And the Z shell is especially for beginners a good starting point because it gives you a lot of benefits. For example, a shared history across multiple shells, auto suggestion, a good prompt and so on. We will all see that in the second part of the video. And it's really easy to set up and this we will also check out in the video. First, we open a new terminal and print the shell variable. Here we can see currently the default shell is bash. Next, we are going to install now the Z shell and also git. Git is not a dependency of the Z shell, but in the next step, we are going to need it. Here, both were already installed, so nothing happens. Next, we want to install oh my Z shell. So we search for it and go to the GitHub page. And here we can see oh my Z shell. It's a framework for managing the Z shell configuration. And it has support for a lot of plugins. If we look at the GitHub star, we can see it's really, really popular. So I can highly recommend using it. If we scroll down to the setup installation, we can print, uh, we can see the right command and copy it, go back to our terminal. Here we are asked if we want to switch our default shell to Z shell, we want, so just press enter. Here we can see the shell was switched. If we now enter again, echo dollar shell, we can see now we have the Z shell and here, Actually, also the icons changed. If we open a new shell and reload, we also have here our Z shell. Of course, if you reload your complete session, you don't have to do that each time. Now we are back in our terminal and we can create some folder and let's open a new shell go into that folder and create a git repository. And here we can already see the git prompt. We are currently on the git master. If we now open a new terminal, we can actually search in the history from the first tab, which was the git init, and also the mkdir from the first one. If we take a look at the history, we can find all our commands we just executed. Now we want to switch the theme we are using for OMI-SH. If we open the Z shell configuration, it's the Z shell RC, and here it's also a nice feature. You can just use tab to switch through the possible uh, suggestions and press enter. Here we can see the current theme and also the link to open other themes. If we go there and search for the famous Agnosta theme, uh, we can just copy the name here and then modify it. So just enter the new name and save. And then of course we have to once reload the file. And here we can see now the theme changed. 
The first thing we want to do is remove the name here because otherwise the line is pretty long. So we can just export our default username, which is in this case OS boxes. And you can see now we just have the path and the current branch. If you want to save that setting, just put it in your sh file. This command just puts it in the end of the file. So if we just look into it, we can see in the really end, we now have our default user. Further on, we want to fix here the icon. It's currently broken because the theme we now used depends on a certain font for it. So we have to install it. When we open a new shell, we can see the icon is fixed. And just to demonstrate you here the git prompt, we can create a file and see the color change from green to yellow because now we have here one file which is untracked. And in general, in the Z shell, you can really tap through all the suggestions in a really good way. You can not only adjust the theme, you can also install further plugins. One I can highly recommend is the Z shell auto suggestion. If you search for it, you find here the fish like auto suggestion for Z shell. Let's go to the README to check out how we can install it. Let's open the install on sh and go to oh my Z shell. And here's a command we can copy it. Now let's open a new shell and just paste the command to clone the plugin. Here you can see it was cloned in the directory of oh my Z shell and there are the custom plugins. Next, we also have to activate it. Again, uh, we have to go to our Z shell configuration. If we search here for plugins, we can find currently only the Git plugin is activated. Now let's take a look into the README again. And here it's also written down. We just should add the suggestions, save the file, and reload. If we type now and command, we can see here the auto suggestion. If you want to apply it, just press the arrow to the right. Let's take a look at some other suggestions, for example, here, because we recently opened with less the configuration, it's here auto suggested. Last but not least, we want to check how we can go back to our bash. So we clear first the shell. First of all, we can print all the shells you currently have installed. So when we just cat etc slash shells, we can see we have the bash, for example, but also the Z shell. We can use the change shell command to switch back to the bash. The which bash just prints the path to the bash binary. Here we can see the shell is still Z shell, but the reason for that is simply we didn't reload it yet. If we do, we already can see from the icon that we are back to the bash. To sum it up, I can highly recommend to use the oh my Z shell because it manages all the configuration of the Z shell. You can just drop in several plugins there and easily also change the theme. The main benefit of the Z shell is you have the skit prompt built in into the oh my Z shell configuration. You can also configure it in the bash if you want, but also you have this shared history across all the shells, which is for me really a huge benefit of using the Z shell. 
and in general the package of the oh my z shell is just really a great configuration and you don't have to modify it so much by your own of course you can but it really gives you a solid configuration 